how chocolate is made. Ooh, I want to watch this. I love chocolate. I want to watch this. I want to watch this. I want to chat. I want to watch this. I want to watch this. Chat. People have been eating chocolate as early as 1750 BC. Mm. In fact, ancient humans were so fond of chocolate that they were using it as medicine and even in religious rituals. Damn, you think they were diabetic? Today, this delicacy is available everywhere on the planet, with companies shipping out as much as 3 million tons of it every year. Must eat a Hershey bar in front of a god. Yeah, nah, it's over for you, dude. You just pass out and die, it's over. How do they do it? Our the journey best way to starts die. all the way in Africa, previously home to the Mayans who were the first people to discover the secrets of the cacao tree. Whoa. But it had less to do with their detective abilities than their geographical location. You see, the cacao tree needs incredibly specific conditions to grow, like mm. a temperature of 25 degrees and a humidity of 80% or above. Conditions only met by certain locations along the equator of the Earth one of which the Mayans occupied. Oh. To this day, a majority of the world's cacao supply comes from this region. And the way cacao is harvested hasn't changed money, much right? since the age of the Mayans either. This is mainly because cacao trees are incredibly delicate and the cacao pods don't just simply fall to the ground. For this reason, they're cut off manually, one by one. This can be grueling work, and it doesn't get much easier later on, because the beans need to be taken out manually as well. This means each worker has to sit down and Ew. channel their inner fruit ninja to secure the beans, which Why'd at this point like are covered by a sticky white pulp. If you think that doesn't look anything like chocolate, you'd be right. The cacao beans have yet to go through a crucial process to their look and smell. Ew. The beans and the pulp are placed in special fermentation boxes covered by banana leaves, where they're kept for three to nine days. This process is important because not only does how it How do you figure this out? Like, I don't understand how motherfuckers found the, the bean, just cut it open, put it in a banana leaf, and then like, I don't f***ing get it. It's crazy to me. You gotta be either really weird or just like, like, think about, think about the first person that ever tried cow milk. Just a little freaky ass, little freaky ass You feel me? Sucking on a, a cow nipple. Like, what is going on, bro? I like her shoes. They're very pretty. ...bacteria and get rid of the white pulp but also gives the beans their signature oh, dry color out. and taste. The fermented beans are ready to be placed in the sun for drying. This is mainly done to remove moisture and to inhibit the growth of fungi, bacteria, or mold, but it has the added benefit of developing the flavor of the beans. They had time, Kenji, hella time. I guess that makes sense. What else are you going to do? Like, it's different now. We just scroll on TikTok mindlessly for hours. You know what I mean? Three hours go by and we just watch like one TikTok. You don't even know what's going on. Your brain's a blur three hours and you have no television no nothing to do i'm gonna be honest i would be like achilles you know what i mean i'm just i'm killing everybody no one's gonna stop me out i would be a king i would be a conqueror dude i'm taking these beans and your life bitch. And you're like what are you talking about once this is done the beans are ready for their journey to factories across the world whoa after they arrive at the factory the beans are inspected by a team of quality assurance officers this process consists of cutting the beans to ensure they're the right color and have the required consistency. Can you make these beans like rice and beans, like, like, like an actual meal if you cook them differently? Once they're approved by the QA team, the beans are off to a specialized processing plant where they're roasted, first on screens and then in revolving cylinders through which heated air is blown. Over a period of 30 minutes to Big two blower. hours, the moisture in the beans is reduced from about 7% to about 1%. Whoa. The roasting process also triggers a browning reaction, in which more than 300 different chemicals present in the cacao beans interact. The beans now begin to develop- How the, the f did these, these ancient Mayans get these machines? How the f did they have a giant blowing cylinder? What the f is going on? Rich flavor we associate with chocolate. Now that the roasting is done, the cacao meat or nib should separate easily from the shell, which is called the husk. Mm. Industries do this in a machine called the winnower. Inside the machine, vibrating shelves separate the nibs from the husks, which Whoa. are then blown away by a fan, leaving the precious nibs ready for the next Look at stage. Them nibs. The nibs are then ground into a deep, dark brown. How the f the Mayan get some scientific lab coat? The f is going on? Is that chocolate? Oh, whoa, look. They have like chocolate ice cream back there. Paste. And this is where things begin to really kick into gear. The process changes How the, the f did 
they get a conveyor belt? What is going on? Composition of the chocolate so that it comes out of the grinder looking like a really thick syrup. This syrup actually smells a lot like alcohol and so is Ew. called chocolate liquor. If the purpose liqueur. is to make cocoa powder, the liquor may be treated with an alkaline solution. Liqueur. What this does is darkens the color of the cocoa, rendering its flavor milder while also reducing the tendency of the nibs to form clumps. Mm. The alkaline chocolate liquor is liqueur. now defatted as large amounts of fat or chocolate butter are removed from it. <laughs> I once fucked bitch so so good she was she was chocolate buttering everywhere. I'm not gonna lie. And I said, bitch on my sheets, really? Give me the back of your head. Come here. With you, bet. Ass, 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 ass. I'm sorry, back to the chocolate. The resulting solid material, commonly called press cake, is then broken, chopped, or crushed before being sifted to produce cocoa powder. You remember the removed cocoa butter from before? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not a throwaway item, but a crucial component in creating chocolate candy. What? It's mixed with chocolate liquor in a process called conching, which gives the chocolate its smooth texture and consistency. Other items like powdered milk, sugar, or vanilla may be added depending on the type of chocolate. How are the that's Mayans being made. doing this? The practice was actually coined by the Swiss chocolatier Daniel Peter in 18. How the f does a Mayan have a suit? In 75, when he invented milk chocolate by mixing a powdered milk developed by Henry Nestle with the liquor. Now oh, that like the Nestle, is like Nestle there, quick. It's time to give the chocolate its patented snap. This is done through a process called tempering in which the chocolate is slowly heated and cooled. Yeah. What this does is Pound. alter the crystals within, giving the chocolate a uniform composition throughout. Once the chocolate is tempered, it's ready to be poured into molds to make bars of chocolate. They're making Hershey kisses. The final mm. check is done to ensure there are no air bubbles and the chocolate is pristine. It's then wrapped Whoa. in foil or paper packaging to keep it fresh. These chocolate bars may look small, but the industry makes up to $50 billion a Dang. year. If you make that many chocolate bars, you probably need a lot of aluminum foil to wrap them. Click Dude, can you little things get out of my way? I'm trying to learn how chocolate's made. F 50 billion is crazy, chat. Let's make our own chocolate. We could call it like, um, like Kangi's chocolate drops. You want my chocolate drops? That'd be kind of cool. Would you guys eat it? Yeah or nay, let me know in the comments. Here to see the amazing way aluminum foil is made. Whoa, aluminum foil. Damn, they have candy canes too? Whoa, I like this. I'm subscribing to them. This is cool. The mines use things like leaves, sticks in their hands to do this type of thing in the sun. Dude, mines just had it. That's kind of cool. 